Good morning gamers, welcome back to the UAM Maxcape speedrun. Last episode I inflicted some heavy crane damage to myself, but in the end it was all worth it for 99 construction and the best skill cape for Ultimate Iron Man. So, doing some Tears of Cuttings now, and I actually got insanely lucky here on this run. I almost broke the 250 tiers barrier, which is like never happened before. I don't think I even got close to 240 like previously. So 250 almost. Kinda insane. So a humble 16.3k uh, Slayer XP. That is very much appreciated. And now that we have the stats open, let's uh, look at the stats uh, real quick. Most of the stats are looking pretty good. Handful of 99s, some high 80s and some 90s, high 90s even. But there are a few outliers, mainly Slayer and Prayer. And not attack I guess, but that's kind of tied to Slayer. But yeah, Slayer and Prayer are still like, yeah, pretty low, 70 only. So I think now that we have the Constriction Cape, that it is time to get ready to start the biggest grind of the account, which is Slayer. To efficiently slay on an ultimate Iron Man, you first need to check off a couple things on a big checklist. And the three most important things on this list are offering spells for prayer XP. This is just too good to like pass up on when you slay on any Iron Man account actually. The offering spells are crazy good for getting zero time prayer XP. And they require rod runes, which is a 95 runecrafting requirement and 92 magic to cast the highest offering spell. Luckily, I got all of those requirements out of the way already. I just need to craft the rod runes. The construction cape for easy access to your play around house when you're on different spell books, which I already got last time. And the Lumbridge Elite Diary for the extra block slot and no Draven Staff for fairy rings, which I also have unlocked. But there's still a couple other things that I want to do before starting this 300 plus hour skill. First up on the list is the Ardoin Elite Diary. And while this doesn't have any effect on Slayer Raids, it does give you unlimited teleports to the Ardoin Farming Patch, which makes doing herb runs while I'm doing Slayer a bit more effective. But for the diary, I need 91 cooking and 91 smithing. And also need some fishing levels. So I'm going to litter this guy's house with cooked and burnt corombans faster than that he can eat them. And there we go, 91 cooking. It's kind of nice to do this skill in like smaller parts because you hit the hop limit super quickly with this, which sucks. So if I can just slowly chip away at, uh, at cooking, that is uh, all good to me. And then on my way to grab another pair of ice gloves and head over to the blast furnace. And this time I didn't have someone selling me the gold ore. And the XP rates are still decent because when I hop worlds my in-game timer does not go up. So for like the effective XP rates for the speedrun it's pretty close to doing the, the alt method. But yeah it's not that big of a deal to do it solo now because it's only a couple hours anyway to level 91. Alright, so I'm almost level 90. I'm just gonna make some mitral nails now for the brutal arrows. So we can shoot some chumpies. A little bit of coal. Now one of mitral. I don't have a hammer actually. Is there a hammer that you can pick up? Yes. Gaming. That is convenient. Yeah, it's like 330, like 3. 15 to 3.30, but I'm kind of... No, 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 don't start making whatever I just made with the spacebar. Uh, nails, 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 nails. This should give me a level. One more. Yeah. Level 90 smithing. We can now make DFSs and rune simmies. I'm just going to boost the plus one for the rune crossbow for the Arduin Elite. But yeah, the next thing I want to do is kill some chompies for the Western Promises Hard Diary. I need 300 kills in total, so that's why I made the nails for the Brutal Arrows. Because the Western Promises Hard gives me the Crystal Halberd, which is going to be super important for Slayer, of course. And yeah, I just need to like make the arrows now. Wait, what? Excuse me? 
Why is he not trading with me? This is some bullshit that I wasn't aware of. It turns out I had to give him one of those Liliums bombs or whatever they are called to access the shop. So here now I can buy some logs and then make the bow and the arrows. Alright, it's time to shoot Chomp Chompies. Just need to, need to clear up my inventory a little bit. Unstrung! Ah! <laughs> Makes sense. But, um. I did not see that. But I have heard that this guy also sells bowstrings, so. It's not too bad, but. Not ideal. I was like, why can't I equip it? <laughs> Alright. Ugg look. Time loss reset. Yeah. Rip. Alright. Now we can shoot. But I also need to complete a couple other steps as well from the diary still. But I'll do that later. Oh, there's only one here. I didn't even see him. Alright, we're done. That should be 300. Yeah, nice. Alright, let's go to Renz. Alright, 15k Herblor. And the banner that we don't need. Nice, that is... Um, the heart... Diary. I have all the heart diary. No, I don't have followed or heart and will I was gonna say I have all the hearts now, but that was straight cap. Karambia, I only need one more. That is the reward task, yeah. For the Ardoin Elite Diary, I had to do some Nightmare Zone, which was pretty slow, but I think it's still worth it for me to do this. It took me about an hour approximately to get the 800k points, but yeah, there's the imbu. It's another diary step out of the way, and now I just need to uh, do the last couple steps of the RD diary. Because I'm not going to use this. So then I can probably imbue another ring if I wanted to. No, I've... Isn't it 650k for a ring? Dude. That is very troll. Alright, that's the room crossbow done. And pick the Torstal as well. Now there's just one step left, which is the Ice Barrage on another player in Castle Wars. But I can't enter because you aren't allowed to take non-combat items into the arena. So yeah, and I can't really go click on the bank and bank them real quick. So I'm gonna do this task later. Because I am gonna death bank right now. But I'm first going to do something else, something I am looking forward to, something I have never done before. And that is Barblore. One of the most click intense, if not the most click intense skilling method. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, try this out. And the reason to do it now is not only for the fishing levels, because I do need a couple fishing levels for uh, the Ardoin Elite Diary. And I need to have 84 fishing so I can boost to 87 for Sacred Eels. So I can fish uh, some Zora skills for the ornate pool in my POH. But I also need to clean out my looting bag or death bank. Because um, when I'm slaying, I need to have a pretty much empty looting bag. Because I will be doing farm runs and all the noted herbs uh, yeah, will take up a lot of space. So I need to get rid of these potions that I still had from the short herblore grind. And the best way to do that is of course doing barblore. Because you get extra herblore XP out of the already made potions. Instead of just simply dropping them. And yes, we are making super stores into barbarian mixes here. Because I have, do not have any PVM aspirations and a prayer potion works the same for me when I'm slaying. So the super stores are being turned into Herblore XP. And this method actually took me a pretty long time to get down on my alt account. Before I was like happy with the rates I was getting that I was going to do it on the ultimate Iron Man. But this is not easy man. But I have a way to actually make this a lot like more doable long term. And a lot less risk breaking. And you don't need to use inventory tags for this. Even though it can still be helpful. But what I do is just have my knife log. Um, well at the place I have it in my inventory. 
And then under my knife, I place one sturgeon, and that needs to be like the lowest sturgeon in the inventory, pretty much. Well, in this in instance, there is one to the right, but that doesn't really matter. And then you want to have a caviar and a two-dose potion of which of the, of the ones you are making. So if you cut up the sturgeon that's all the way at the bottom, all the ones that are like higher up in your inventory get cut up first. So that way, most of your mouse movements will be done in like the bottom left of your inventory because the same works for the um, two dose potion and the caviar at the bottom. All the other ones get used up first. So you just want to like keep one sturgeon and like one caviar and one two dose potion at the bottom left. And that way, uh, yeah, it's pretty chill. You only need to go like at the top of your inventory to drop like the other fish and to decant the potions. And when I filled up my inventory with a caviar, I do not bank them as a regular Iron Man do. I just unload the two dose potions at the bank and then just make an inventory of the two dose potions and drop them and unload more for those. But after some time, even I had to take breaks from this method because it's like so click intensive. I'm not sure what the exact APM is, but it's really high. But I think with some more time at this method, when I actually do 99 fishing, because I'm only going for 84 right now, I should be able to do it longer because I've only yeah had like uh, less than 10 hours of uh, actual practice time to do this for longer than uh, like a, an, an hour or two at a time. But yeah, it is uh, a lot of clicking, but it is really fun. Definitely one of my new favorite methods. Actually stayed a little bit longer than just 84 fishing because I still had to finish off my fishing potions. And I'm actually going to keep a couple fishing potions because I still need to boost to 87 to fish the Zora skills. But yeah, that was uh, it for Barbor right now. I will go way more in depth and uh, do a lot more later on in the account. Actually kind of probably one of the last things I'll do because I need to have all the potions ready for it to get 99 Hurroar. But yeah, should be fun. Looking forward to it. But now it's time to um, finally make my ornate pool in the POH. And to make the ornate pool in my POH, I need to make anti-venoms. But for the anti-venoms, I also need antidote plus plus. And that is why I saved a couple magic saplings from when I was doing contracts. Because I have planted those already. So I'm going to chop those down for the roots. And also pick some coconuts. And then I went fishing for Zora skills. And actually, I don't think you can actually tick when it these uh, sacred eels. I tried it on my alt, but I couldn't get it to work. So I just AFK these. And I could have also done a Zora kill, but I wasn't really in the mood for that. And there's also a chance where you do a Zora kill, you only get like 100 something skills. And I needed 200 because it is 20 skills per 4 dose potion and I need 10 of them. So I just fished here for 200 skills. Then I had to suffer a insane RNG grind where I had to get one of those Golonova tops for the botanical pie. Took me a whole three minutes to get this. RNG goals L. Alright, making the antidote plus plus. I don't think I've ever made this potion in my entire RuneScape career. Just gotta make sure now that I don't drink any of this because then I have a huge problem. And finally, making the anti-venoms. This also completes the Karambia Elite Diary, which is going to be super helpful for Slayer, of course, with a direct teleport to Jurdel. And yeah, now making the Ornate Pool. Man, it feels good to finally have this done. I think, like, pretty much everything on this account so far has led up to me prepping efficiently for slayer <laughs> and now with the pool made and my inventory cleaned out and like 99 construction and all the other things i think we are finally ready to start slayer actually never mind i still had to make the rod runes needed for slayer so doing some quick mining at the scar essence and depositing six mil here and that should be enough for all the rod runes i need for slayer but originally I had planned to do rod runecrafting like normally for my last 80k runecrafting XP. But since the cranes has happened, um, I have a lot of extra money that I didn't like uh, calculate for. So yeah, we can just now do 
the Scar Essence Mine for my Rod Runes, which is actually kind of crazy that you can buy Rod Runes. Like the Scar Essence Mine was implemented as a alternative for Shopscape for like runes, but Rod Runes were never buyable, but they are buyable with this, which is kind of weird, but I mean, it saves me time, so I'll take it. But yeah, that leaves me some extra runecrafting XP. So we're actually going back to the rift with the boys for like one hour to finish off a 99 a runecraft. Hey, 99 runecraft. Thank you guys for um, for the the rifts. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo. champion! Say so spotting the blue dragons. All right, now we get. A huge amount of rod runs, yeah. <laughs> That's 4k rods. And yeah, a couple laps later, actually, my pouch degraded, so that was kinda messed up. But yeah, I got my rod runs. And they should be enough for 99 Slayer, but yeah, it's not really that I can't get more super easily with this, but yeah. And also, I did complete the RD and Karamya diary. I claimed the rewards, so that is another 100k Herbor XP. Actually, me saying that we were about to do Slayer like 10 clips ago was like the biggest lie ever. I also need to get a lot of silver bars so I can make slaughter bracelets. So I'm gonna do some temple tracking. I already did some temple tracking actually. I completed one medium temple track, I think. But I was like getting so unlucky with the events that I had to keep teleporting out. I didn't have the pouch on me for the gas. So I was like, yeah, I'll just get uh, this pouch now and fill it so I can do the gas defense because I just, yeah, I had to teleport out like 10 times or whatever. And then I just didn't get any gas defense. And actually, the bog event is pretty doable if you just like do it instead of chicken out every time. But uh, yeah, I got uh, around 250 to 270 steel bars. I was just about to death pile for making the slaughter bracelets. But then I was like, I kind of want this zombie axe that they just released. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that I'm going to get this axe like super quickly. So... I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do the quest now. I already did it on uh, my alt, but yeah, there's just something that tells me that I'm gonna get this axe like super quickly. And the axe is actually way better than the Dragon Scimitar for Slayer until you get a whip. So yeah, I'm just gonna try my luck and see if I can snipe the axe real quick and then start Slayer. Alright, just got done with the quest. And now on my way to kill the armored zombies. And I found a actually pretty good way to kill the zombies here. In this corner in the northwest, there is actually a lot of spawns. And if you just juggle them around the corner, you can actually stack up a lot of zombies here. And pretty much always barrage like 9 of them. And this should be around 800 kills an hour with like budget magic gear and blood barrage. So it should only take me an hour to hit a drop rate with this. And I do have two dancer alts, shuffling the zombies for like uh, saving me some run energy. I'm about to hit the drop rate. 15 left to go, 14. So yeah, that didn't really go as planned. I was really hoping to just get the axe in like a couple hundred skills. But yeah, now we have a system update and I'm not going to risk like getting the axe as soon as the update drops. So I'm just going to log out before this and it just needs to happen after this update, man. Otherwise, I'm actually going to lose my mind. I'm already probably losing time here, but I just really want this axe, man. It looks so cool. Please. Let me get lucky on the axe. I am... 872 kills in. And the update just... Oh, we still have to update the client. I probably lost my aggression timer, didn't I? No, it's still here. But I only have one dose of prayer pot. But it will just need to happen in uh, in this one prayer pot. Otherwise, um, I don't know. I'm gonna cry.
Oh mein Gott! Hey! I do have it. Yes. <laughs> well, less than a minute after the fucking update. There we fucking go. Yeah, that was a good update. Right now we have the broken axe. I can uh, ditch the draconical scimitar. Hey, it looks so small though, but I like it. Not too dry. 878 kills for it, so that is pretty bug. Let's switch to standard spellbook and elk the dragon sim. <laughs> yeah, mate. So I'm going to death pile right now so I can make the slaughter bracelets. And the slaughter bracelets on a UEM are usually not really worth making. But of course for the speedrun... I have to squeeze out every time save I can because it's probably a very minimal time save but it should save me some time training prayer in the future because I can extend necrols and abbey demons with slaughter bracelets. But the way of making these are, is actually quite tedious because you have to um, death pile first to like have space in your inventory. Then go to the gem mine with all the items required and do tick manip until you have a full inventory of red topaz. Then make the bracelets at a furnace. And this is where I got a noted silver bars for. So I can just quickly make those on the on the way. Yeah? Instead of having to uh, hop to blast furnace or whatever. To get me some unnoted steel bars. Then when I made the bracelets. I put them in my looting bag. Repeat this cycle like 3-4 times. Until I have a full looting bag. And a full inventory. Then that bank at Hespori. With the slaughter bracelet. So if you're slaying and you go to Arno, but you have your inventory like pretty much almost full, you can just click the slaughter bracelets and it should only withdraw one or two that you need for the task. So I kind of just do have a bank for slaughter bracelets now. And that is why I left like 160k mining XP, so I can do this a couple times when I work my way towards 99 Slayer. But now it is finally time to start slaying. And I did still have a Dwarf's task from Turiel or Spria. And that is actually pretty good because I need a Muddy Key for the Wilderness Medium Diary at some point. So I can just get this key on task real quick in a Tavoli Dungeon. And then we can probably go to Duradel and hopefully not get screwed over because my points are actually really low. But surely Duradel is going to be nice. Duradel, let's hear it, my man. Suqua, that's a... Is Suqua a block? I think that's a block, right? I... One sec. Was that a block for my list? Oh, yeah, Suquas are... Um... Oh, yeah, I um, am kind of not really healthy on points. That was uh, kind of scary part here. But I will still block Suquas. We have a great start to the Slayer skill. I actually can't really skip that. I need to make an elemental shield for them. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so scared to skip this. Our Rune Dragons, Eddie. Oh my god. Water fiends? Imagine if I get water fiends, man. I just have to do this task. So I'm just gonna make an elemental shield. Because if I get one of these like rune dragons or water fiends tasks, man, I'm just fucked. Also, when I was making the shield, um I might have made a mind shield instead of an elemental shield. So I pretty much did elemental workshop part two like over again for zero. But yeah, let's not talk about that fact. Let's talk about how I'm going to do this task. Well, I'm first going to lower the wyvern closest to the entrance with my main account. Then I have my other alt um, holding the aggro of the spider. So I can do the last hit with like logout slayer on the wyvern with my UAM. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going to take a while, but 
the in-game time should be relatively not that much like impacted, but uh, fucking hell, man. After the wyverns, I did a couple tutorial tasks, so I am now at my 10th task to get some extra points from Jurdel. Alright, Jurdel. How is this possible? So yeah, I got the fucking rune dragons, which are a 2 waiting from Jurdel. So the chance to actually get these when you only have 30 points. Pretty small, but you did get them. So I rallied up a couple of my viewers and I had some alts myself to like occupy all the rune dragons in the room. And then lower them to like very low hit points so I could kill them with one hit on my alt. But the problem was my alt couldn't really hit the rune dragons because I didn't have a stab weapon. And yeah, these guys just have like insane defense bonuses. So yeah, I almost died as well. I, I think I got chanced here. But um, yeah, I uh, don't think I can complete this task. It is uh, too difficult to uh, for my where my account is at now to actually kill eight rune dragons, even if I only have to do a couple last hits. So I need to skip this. Alright, Jurdel. I have 45 points. I have only one skip. Surely you're not gonna fuck me over here. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I don't even know what to say, man. I just can't believe I actually got... Suquas as a block, Fossil Island Wyverns, Rune Dragons and Water Fiends all back to back, causing me to run out of points and actually force to do these Water Fiends. I don't think it could have been worse than this, but at least the only positive here is that my Zombie Axe has a crush option and these Water Fiends are actually pretty weak to crush because they have like 100 slash and step. So if I was standing here with a Dragon Scimitar, then it was the worst outcome possible. But at least the Zombie Axe is making it doable. So I just did 10 minutes of Water Fiends and I'm not aggroed anymore and I actually ran out of food after doing like, I don't know, like 20 kills or something. These guys just fuck you up when you're not high combat. So what I'm going to do is bring my alts here and then just hit the water fiends until they are one hit from dying pretty much. And then I'm just going to do log out water fiends. Yes, you heard it right. Log out water fiends. I don't think anyone has ever said those two words in one sentence. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. it um, it's the only way forward for me to continue Slayer. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's insane pretty much to to do this it is um like a single combat task with logout slayer is just gonna take forever i think i'm gonna be here for like at least three hours i don't know it's gonna be misery so after i think over two hours of doing this i finally completed the water fiends task so now i'm just gonna point boost man i do not want to experience something like this ever again so i think i'm just gonna point boost until 250 slayer tasks so nine tasks Durdel, one at Durdel, and then the 250 at konar to actually get my points uh, up and rolling again because this was ooh, this was uh harder than uh, doing 200 mile man not gonna lie right unblock worms first Ward task worms can be off the list because that's actually a very good task now. We actually got something that is good, Tsars, no way. 166 Tsars, let's fucking go, dude. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that task now. Um, I'll save that for the next video. It's been a uh, hell of a video so far. And if you made it this far in the video, that is very, very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. 
And if you catch this video as it goes out, I will be streaming over on Twitch and Kick. I'm probably going to be live later in the day on Kick, so you can find me over there. And I'll be streaming pretty much like every day of the week, except Mondays most likely. I'm uh, going to be streaming the Slayer grind, so if you guys want to yeah, hang out for a little bit, uh, feel free to uh, head over to my Twitch or my Kick. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.